What's up, YouTube? Yo, back at it again. Yes, man. sir. Here with your boy Gilly I'm Marciano, and you here with React Genius. Hey. Here to bring you some genius reactions. Yes, huh? sir. Like always, like always. And today, we got another review for y'all, man. Yes, sir. We got the review for Power Force, episode four. Ah, yeah, episode four. <laughs> I watched it twice. Uh, what? <laughs> episode four, man. Yeah, we said we see y'all running them up, man. It's episode four, y'all still running them up. So come on, keep keep on piling in, man. Yes, sir. We've we been having fun with this show, man. It's crazy, bro. But if you sat through all that, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, man. We will really, really appreciate that, man. Appreciate to all the people that's already done it. But if you part of that 175 people that ain't done it, just click I on swear it, bro. To God, bro, we need all them. Come on, man, just click it, bro. I ain't know what I mean no pressure, but. Easy. Nah, click that shit. <laughs> <It's easy. laughs> Fuck that. Click Beep, all boop. that shit. Beep, boop. Come on, bro. You know the Kanye. Come on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. We're going to hold y'all up in the long. We're going to hop right into it. Power Force Episode 4. Give me the recap. <laughs> you just seen it. So you just... I don't remember this. Oh, shit. Uh, so I'm going to do the recap today. Recap, big dog. <laughs> it's a recap today. So obviously the episode, the episode start off with the last one left. Fucking with, okay, well, like what he said. <laughs> so basically, in this episode, they like I, right, she's showing um, the the daughter from the the Scottish Irish Irish, got it. lucky charms. Because <laughs> I, I was gonna say lucky, but I didn't want to say that. From the <laughs> from the Irish man, the the daughter. They, she talking about the, you know, the new product that they got. She found out that the girl that she got it from didn't cook it. Right. She brought, she brought out the drugs. She's like, this not enough. She like, no, you, you know, this all I got. She's like, so you ain't cooking this shit? She said, yes, I am. Lie. But she fucking lied. She ain't right. cooking that shit. You know what I mean? So they was figuring that out. So after that, motherfucking. That's when Tommy and I sat down with, uh, Tommy and a BET nigga sat down with a, uh, other nigga, the nigga son. Right. So mm -hmm. they went to the they, they they went out. He sat down with what's the name? With you know, with all three of them. They all sat down together and they was talking about still working together yeah. even though his daddy racist as shit. He like, I know, I ain't I ain't rocking with him like that. So, you know, I'm trying to keep the business alive. So he like, I bet. So they all you know, they all kinda cool now. They're like, I bet we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rock with this. So after that, uh the the bitch that Tommy was working with, the one that got the big ass guy face. Big ass <laughs> The people that was looking for them drugs finally came back and slid on them. And guess who it was? Who was it? It was the goddamn serpents. I mean, <laughs> what the, fuck is the, the goddamn Serbians, man. The Serbians came back. Yes, if you ain't ever seen Power, don't know why you're watching this. But <laughs> fuck. that was from Power, you know, Ghost. So they came back and that was the drug she stole. And that was all the way back in New York. So this bitch was always dirty. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, they found out that they, that he bought the bath. So they end up getting up with her, fucking her up. It was like, all right, where my drugs at? Where my drugs at? She like, fire. I, I know these drugs. I'm going to have to bring it. She texts Tommy like, hey, meet me here and bring ghosts. Ghosts. That was that was actually real genius of her, bring ghosts. You know what I mean? So Tommy look at it. He like, bring ghosts. Oh, that means murder. <laughs> that means murder. She, right. she knew off top. So boom. And then that's when she, uh, Tommy had to go up there to go save her. Right, right. So, Tom, oh, yeah. Tommy meets her up there. Go save her. Go out the bath. You know, they talking and talk. She, 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 oh, you kill most of my guys. Or, you know, we four and old right now. We ain't kill none of your people. You kill four of my people. This thing. He like, well, you know, take your L. Go mm -hmm. on. You got your drugs. You got you know your drugs. Get your drugs back. So, go ahead, so be cool. But she said, no, I'm going to talk some shit before I leave. <laughs> Um, Vic come, Vic is, is there with Tommy. He ended up coming out the shadows, pop, pop, killed her two security guards, and now she's standing there helpless. Helpless. Like, oh, fucking idiot. 
you know, like, oh, we, you know, shit, yeah, I saved your life. Remember back in 08 when I helped you do out the bag? You know, she tried to bring up old shit. What? She tried to bring up old shit, and he like, well, that, you know, that shit don't matter now. Then she threatened Tommy and was like, what if I go to New York and tell them you here? Like, that was... Why would you say that about <laughs> all things? Like, right. I ain't gonna tell you if you go back to the city and snitch that I'm still alive. Mm-hmm. And he said, he told her, like, hey, you shouldn't have said that shit about New York. Shouldn't have brought that shit up. Stabbed up all in the neck. Give him good, 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 <laughs> good neck stab. You know what I mean? So, and that, the, the, the lady he stabbed was the sister of the Serbian from Power and Ghost. Power Ghost. So she, you know, she's still real connected. So we, you know, we're going to obviously see problems from that. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, after that, we end up seeing. Uh, bro, son, uh, JP, son, right. coming. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah, we end up seeing JP, J, JP, son, come to shoot up the shop. I guess that's he been doing that all the time. It's so, a prank. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, you, got windows. I, you know, I guess you know he feels some type of way, so you know, about the bam. So you know, we get to see that. It seems like he doesn't know what his son looked like because he hasn't seen him in so long because it looked like he didn't know who he was. But he knew that was his daddy, you know, obviously, because he keeps shooting up the place every week. So I know he's seen him. Right. <laughs> I know he's seen him, you know. But, uh, yeah, after that, oh, I mean, oh damn it. I, I skipped the part before we seen that. They went to link up with the Yardies, the boss from the Yardies, from the back of the Yards, oh, niggas. Yeah. But instead of that happening, somebody called the laws, which is kind of suspicious, but somebody called the laws and they had to get up out of there. You know what I mean? So that's how the daddy found out that uh, the son and stuff was working with them and he yeah. went to them and he went back to he went back to Vince and was like, hey, stop working with them blacks and that goddamn white boy. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Basically, that's what he said. Stop working with them niggas. And he like, look, man, look, you, you fucking up. You ain't making enough money. When you die, we gonna be fucked. Yeah, you talking about legacy. Ain't gonna be no legacy right. when you die. You know, so he telling him all that shit. They arguing, boom. You know what I mean? And come the end of the episode, um... Right, uh, they're on top of the rooftop. Him and Shorty that uh, that he got the uh, drugs from, from from the first power. Seeing him on the roof is like, man, you done you know pissed a lot of people off. You know a storm is coming, right? You know what, blah, blah. And he like, yeah, I know. That nigga said it's already here. Right, it's already he basically he like I know, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean. I'm not strangers to killing nobody, so. Yeah, yeah, that's basically it, man. They just gave us... If, if, to make it in shorter words, basically all they did this episode was just kick off all the conflict. Everybody... Yeah, basically. Yeah, everybody that could be beefed with is being beefed with right now. He's beefing with the Yardies because now they probably going to feel like they set them up because the police just showed up. Now they beefing with the, the, the Serbians because they came back and killed, you know... It's seven of them now. <laughs> then he beefing with the Scottish people, and you know they since he fucking with his son, he don't want to fuck with no bam. And we got internal beef still in the CBI. Yeah. You know the brothers still feel like taking over, and they like you know we ain't gonna split ties. But the brother know that some people gonna stay loyal to Diamond because he was like he was he, in the in the episode he was like. You know, uh, some of these niggas that's with us is, uh, they, they daddies was in the shit. And then, then, you know, they was loyal to Diamond and now they loyal to Diamond. So it's like a generational thing. But these new niggas that don't know nothing about that shit is obviously on his little brother's side. Like, shit, I, I like the way this nigga think. He do cocaine. I like it. <laughs> he do cocaine. You know what I mean? But what we didn't mention in the last, uh... And the last uh, review we did was 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 that ending, where we found out what the glow in the dark cocaine was, and supposedly it was supposed to be a diet pill that turned into cocaine, which is crazy. But I mean, science, you know, what can I say? Amazing, amazing, <laughs> right? Diet pill to cocaine? Like, wow, yeah, that's a that's a big jump. But yeah, man, that's what I said. Basically, that's how the episode went. But uh, so far, like I said, it's pretty good. Pretty good, man. But uh, tell me, tell me, G, what 
Who who you think is gonna be his biggest problem though? Like like Tommy be like fending off. I think the biggest problem probably gonna be the Serbs. Cause I feel like everybody else is handleable. Cause with the Irish motherfuckers, he's still cool with their son and their daughter. So he ain't really got a problem trying to whack him off or like have a motherfuckers understand like bro, yeah, that shit over with. Cause they ready to branch off anyway to their own shit. And then CMB niggas, he got Diamond, so Diamond gonna take half the crew anyway, so he still got in power with them. Mm-hmm. But the Sirs, he ain't got nobody in that bitch. Right. And then he right. whacked seven of they niggas and then stole their drugs again. So it's like, that's the only problem I see with the Serbs. Uh, you don't think the Yardies are a problem? The, the yeah, crackheads? Crackhead. <laughs> you don't oh, think the crackheads are a problem? I can't wait to see that boss. Who is the boss of crackheads? Like, <laughs> I keep Moses. Mo, I can't. I keep forgetting his name, but I want to see that damn boss. And then when the when the police came to the meet and they was chasing them, these niggas was in the back of the trucks with AKs and stuff. You feel like, me? Like what the fuck is this? Federalists? Right. <laughs> and then I'm thinking like, bro, when they came into the yard, he's the police and them, and I'm like, you don't see this big fancy ass truck right here just gonna drive past them? I didn't mm-hmm. ask what the fuck they doing here. Yep. That's why I was like, what the fuck. But then the PO officer also saw Buddy ass in the back. Yeah, that's place. why he didn't stop him because that PO officer was there. That's the dude that what's naming them is Pan. That's right. why he. That's why. And then. And oh, that, you know what? Maybe his father might have tipped them off because his father found out, and that's why the PO nigga was there. Hmm. But the first person that found out was that his little brother and what's the name? Yeah, though? but they was listening to the radio. You sure? I don't know, because I was thinking it was down too at first, but then I was like, how the fuck did the daddy find out if nobody told him, not even his sister, nobody else knew? That's true, but the only people that knew about that meat was the other CBI nigga. That was, who, who else knew? The daddy didn't know about the meat, though. That's what I'm saying, like, the only person that could have known about that meat is the other nigga unless Diamond told him. That's now, what I'm saying, they, but I don't think, like, I don't know, bro. Because let's say if it was a BT niggas, then how the fuck did the Irish daddy still find out? From that cop. Because the cop pulled over, remember he pulled over Vince right, and was talking yeah. shit to him. Like, yeah, you, you, I seen you at the meeting. Vince was like, what meet? Police? You seen me? Really? Right, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So maybe he wanted to go snitch to his daddy and then he, you know, he felt some type of way. Because I don't know how did his daddy find out about the meat though. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Right. I thought they was the only people that knew, and then he instantly called like I was listening to the radio. They from the slide on y'all. Right. That's ah. why I thought it was them too. Cause like coincidentally, he was in a barber shop listening to the fucking radio. Mm-hmm. Right. And he already planned a coup out behind his back. So it's like right. you know. I, that's why I said I don't really trust him like that. You see how he reacted when Shorty... And then I was thinking like, okay, but if it was him that tipped him off, why didn't he just let this shit happen? Because he wants the motherfucking gang anyway to itself. I don't I don't know. I don't know the play. I don't know what he playing at now. He, he's still acting like he's his brother right-hand man right, right now. Right. So I don't know what his plan is. That's what I'm saying. Like, And he told, he told that nigga E, the nigga with the dress, he like, you know... You, you, my nigga. You the only nigga I can trust. Right, so it's me yeah. and you. So that that's already like two niggas that's help conspiring against each other. I mean, against uh, Diamond. So, so that's kind of that's kind of you know that's why I said like I don't know what he actually planning. Like, how do you stage a coup op with within your own group with niggas that the group was already established? You know what I mean? That's like nice. this is we already doing this. That's you nice. know what I mean? And Obviously, the, the brother feels type of way because he was like, he was like, oh, I could have went to college and all this. Right, shit. I could have did all this. You know and I mean? still here building for fifteen years, and he's trying to take it away. Type yeah, shit. Yeah, so he already feels type of way, which to me is the dumbest shit ever. Look, don't be mad at nobody when you give up an opportunity. You know why? Because even if that person begs you to death, like, please do this, please still do this, and you say yes, it's your fault. You still did it. Yeah. You still did it, bro. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I get why you did it, but you still did it. So you can't look back on it like, ooh, I hate this. I should have. No, it's too late now. You feel me? And uh, then I want to know if if uh, Vic knew that it wasn't the BET niggas that did it, that, that wrote on a, well, who was a auntie or uncle or mm-hmm. some shit like that? Who the fuck did that then? 
I'm guessing the yardies. I I think everything the yardies did. These goddamn <laughs> said the junkies. <laughs> the, the, get them, get them out of here. They seem crazy though. Why would you send two junkies to do a drug deal? I right. just don't. Yeah. I just don't get it. The yardies seem more unpredictable than CBI. And and Vince said it was a smash and grab. So they they broke in, killed them, and robbed. Right. Them. Yeah. So it's like CBI ain't doing that. Like they're doing hits. They're not fucking doing B and E's. So that's what I'm like. Uh, nigga, yeah, it's common sense, but obviously, you know, that ain't gonna hear that. Right. It was those it blacks. Was those niggas. <laughs> Get those blacks out of here. <laughs> right. Get out of here. Like, nigga, what? I just explained to you why I don't think it's them. I don't care what you're saying, son. It's them niggas. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, th th that's a real bump heads right there. But, and oh. then I'm thinking, like, okay, so let's say. JP find out that's his son and then his son find out that Tommy is his uncle. Is he gonna go back to the BT niggas, the, the, the little brother and tell him like, yeah, I got an inside on woo 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 so he can catch Tommy slipping more easier now if he get closer to his brother. Hmm. Well, get closer to JP. Well, well, see, this is the complicated part about his son now. I don't know if JP is okay with that life. You know, like the, the thug life. So, if he do link up with Tommy and they become... That's a dog. And it's loose. But yeah, see, I don't know. I don't know if uh, JP is okay with the life yet. Because they, they know what Tommy do, but they don't know, like, what yeah, Tommy do. To you know what I mean? Extent. Yeah, like... They don't know Tommy is that nigga. Like, this is a murderer. This ain't just no drug yeah. no. This is a fucking killer. So, once he found out that that's his nephew, and then he found out that's his uncle, you know, I know I know it's going to change Tommy, because Tommy already feel kind of out of place, because he don't have no family no more. Right, yeah. So, I know it's going to change the way he feel about dude. You know, the, the, the last little nigga that he really loved was Tariq, and Tariq did him dirty. Yeah. So, you know, so he already kind of, like, you know, feels type way. But JP can either, I feel like JP can either be like this. Either JP can go to Tommy like, look, I, you know, I don't want my son doing this shit. Or, blah, 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 blah. or he can come at him like, bro, can you please look out for my son because he out here doing bullshit. Right. You know what I mean? He fucking with the, with the CM, CBI niggas. He keeps shooting up my goddamn shop. <laughs> Keep shooting my windows out. Keep shooting my damn windows out every week. First of all, he came outside with a bat. Right, and these niggas had guns. I'ma knock your goddamn head off. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> okay. Come on, guy. Which was ridiculous. But um, yeah, so it's like, you know, I, I think the relationship thing they got going on is really good too. Cause he can go either way. Either he can be like, fuck this life. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna chill with my daddy. I can get employed at the, you know, whatever, whether that or fuck my daddy, I'm gonna live life. Or I'm be like, look, Dad, I love you, but this is what I do. You know what I mean? Like, this is uh, this is who I am. You gotta accept that or not. You feel me? So, so it, it, the relationship can go a lot of different ways. That's why I'm like, I'm really looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to see how hard uh, um, Tommy go for for his family. Because yeah. JP, you know, him having a a, a, a brother and having a, a you know a, a nephew. You know, all that shit, it, it's going to weigh on him because he lost so much. Right. So, I'm I'm really looking forward to that relationship, Bill. And then, obviously, him him and, and that shorty with the Scarlet Fish that he worked with, they're going to build a relationship because they're going to be together all the time. I want to see, though, because it seemed like that bitch up for sale. It's not. If you give her the right amount of money, she'll do anything. But I don't know because... I don't know, because she could have took that money to kill Tommy if that was the case. But I don't think she want to kill Tommy because that's the only way she making money. Right. That, that It wouldn't make no sense to right. get this amount of money to hit Tommy. Right. So and I then feel like, you can make a whole, whole lot more. Yeah. I feel like she up for sale, though. When she set herself up, I think she going to turn or some shit. I don't know. I just don't trust that bitch. Mm. Don't you don't trust, trust Scarface. Well, you know who I don't trust? Uh, big sister, I don't trust her. I don't trust her either. Yeah, man. her, yeah. she is, she, something about her don't speak right, bro. And especially, and this is my thing about something. Okay, so, I don't know if we told y'all, maybe I'll skip past that too. 
<laughs> but in that episode, the the Asian girl, he uh, the Serbian uh, Vic sister met when when they met in War of the Bam. You know, they did their thing. She stiffed the going dark right thing. Cool. But the next episode, when she found out that she wasn't the one cooking it, and then they found the girl who was, they basically forced the girl that was making the shit to make more. Yeah. And my thing is, I don't think you want to force somebody to be in your drug empire. Because all they're going to be doing is either two things. Looking for ways to get out or looking for ways to fuck you. Exactly, yeah. So that's the worst thing you could do is force somebody to be on, on your shit. So, I don't know what I mean. That's why I don't trust her because she's trying to, she's trying to force her way in the game. But she's doing it the wrong the way. Wrong way because... Yeah. Because all these people you force into it can turn their backs on you, you know? And then, oh, we, we missed them. actually a critical part. We always miss them little, little critical parts. She met with this other dude that was, uh, I don't know if he was uh, one of the Irish or probably just white. But she met with another dude in the, in the bar who she was like, hey, look at the new stuff I got. And she gave it to him. He sniffed it. He said, oh, this the shit. And she was, he was like, all right, this is my pre-order. Then he gave a, he gave her a bag of money, and a suitcase of money, and was like, don't worry about it, little sister, I got you. So, I don't know. And he was like, you the only friend I fuck with. That's what he told her. So, mm. so, I don't know if that nigga, I don't know if that nigga is, first of all, actually related to them, because he did call her little sister, or if it was just like a relationship thing, like they right, close. Yeah. So, but he fucked with her heavy. So, even if she did branch out from her family, it seems like she still got backup. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why I don't trust her because she kind of got a lot to like lean on. Like she don't have to go out the bound. You know what I mean? So that that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know what I, mean? I, I, I don't know. Besides Tommy and a motherfucking uh, BT Big Brother, that only two niggas I trust. I don't trust Vic because niggas do anything crazy over coochie. Oh yeah, and then you I don't know, trust that nigga at all. Vic, Vic told Tom like he don't care about what's the name of him he and the girl. We just taking the break, right? We you just taking with the bed that's pulling your bitch. <laughs> yeah, he said he said they just taking a break, but you know how niggas right. feel. Y'all, y'all already know how niggas feel when you taking Come a on, break. Now. Come on, bro. Tommy yeah. like shit. I put the money first. It don't matter to me. Right. You know, Tommy ain't finna know. Not for no, but he just, that nigga lost his wife in the last. You feel me? By his he best friend, shit. Yeah, it's about his, man, come on now. Come on, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, that's easy for him, yeah. but not for you, because you a soft ass nigga. But, <laughs> but yeah, so, so we already got conflict within that. I don't really, I don't really think much of that conflict with the bitch just because. Tommy can end that shit instantly, really. Which bitch you talking about? The the the, the bitch from the bar. Like him, like him and Vince. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah, he yeah. like I don't I don't see that as a big thing. I, I I hope they don't make it a big thing. Cause Tommy can end that easily. And I and I know I know for a fact they've been trying to look up Tommy and they can't because he's supposed to be dead. Right. Yeah. So I know they was like, ooh, this nigga. No, it's a ghost. He the ghost. Ah, you see what I did no, there? He the he the no, goat. No, he no, the... no, it didn't work. <laughs> nah, this shit is going good though. I can't wait to see what the fuck gonna happen. It's like every episode, I'm like, okay, that's a setup episode. That's a setup episode. Right. But right. then it's like it's set up with action though. You know what I'm saying? So you know, like when the shit hit the fan, it's gonna be big. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like I said, great episode, bro. Like that, I liked it. You know, down in the comments, tell us what y'all think. Yes, bro. sir. If we missed anything, yes, sir. Tell us in the comments. Yes, sir. We'll bring it up next episode. Yes, sir. And you know, just let us know. But if you made it through all that, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, bitches. Man. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Yes, sir. And we be back again next week, man. Cause I'm ready. I'm ready. Just next week. But until next time, we see y'all later. Peace.